everybody. Well, it's Wednesday morning, it is market day, and in the background you see there Tash and Jack. They came from Australia, and we're just hanging out here at this Italian market, and we're checking out things that are vegan and things that are not vegan. And right now, we're standing in front of these scarves, and I was just telling Tash that I really like this scarf. Um, or it's like a tablecloth, or oh, it's a scarf, I don't know. That's my style, full of colors, and uh, we're trying to figure out if it's vegan or not. And it, we've all decided we can't see the label, but it definitely feels yeah, like it's it does polyester. Feel like it probably is yeah. synthetic materials, which yeah. is good. Cool. All right, so we decided to ask the lady, and she said, "No, no, there's no animal products in here." And then she said, "Look, it's viscose and lana." But I don't know Italian, but I knew that in French. Len means wool, so there you go. It seemed, it seemed so nice at first, and then we realized that there's some um, some wool in here, which is really sad. So, not buying that. No, absolutely. What about these? Do you think they're stuffed with feathers? Let's check. Potentially. Here. But it is cheaper, so it might be synthetic. Yeah, 100% polyester. So no one's feathers are in there, which is good. So that means it's vegan. That's so vegan. No one was exploited for this jacket. Yeah, I like these. And my husband said, I don't get them. I don't understand why you'd get a jacket without arms. Because <laughs> that's the part of him that gets cold. <laughs> what else do we got? Okay, so here we have more animal products. It's, uh, yeah. Non-vegan, not vegan, no. Animali. Si, ciao. Uh, is this a t uh, vegan? Vegana? No animali? Lana? No lana? No, è cotone questo, madame. Cotone and... E questo è impermeabile. Okay, 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 yeah. All right, so apparently this is vegan. But how much is it? There's not a lot of information. No, there isn't a lot of information. All right. <laughs> Favorite color is blue, and I would probably get. Eh, yeah, I like the light blue too. It reminds me of a coat I had when I was young. But I also like the purple. But yeah. you know, I also like the khaki sometimes for that earthy tone. So yeah. I have to get. That's why I never go shopping because I get three of everything, and then I just <laughs> wonder why my closets are stuffed full. <laughs> you should get underwear for me. I think. No, me or you. You know, these would really, really look good on Jack, actually. Yeah, I think okay. they would. Jack, these are perfect for you. Maybe you know, the white ones. Especially for the fa the only fans. I think you should... White. Yeah, white, maybe. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you were the white. It's way. a lot to hold in. There you go, there you go. Here you go, Jack. I'll buy those for you, okay? Thank you. Just a gift from me to you. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Always fun to see little dogs around. So here at the market, there's all this wonderful fresh fruit. Oh, grazie. All right, free samples. Nice. It's a lot softer and sweeter than I expected. Oh, wow, it's lovely. Now I want to get some, but I don't want to carry it around. Yeah. I like the shape of these ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eh? Why do you like the shape? Um, I don't know, it just looks familiar. About <laughs> <laughs> this shape, do you like this shape? Yeah. Does that look familiar? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's a good shape. <laughs> Actually, I just love the looks of all of these fruits and vegetables. Look, they just yeah. look so... I love this color. Mm. Beautiful. Oops. And now we get to the part where all the stolen body parts are. We have cheese here, meat, cancer causing meat, animals who suffered, screamed before they were murdered. It's the hardest part of the market to see right here. It's only part of it. Also, chickens over there. And, um,. Really sad. I don't understand why they don't have giant sections where they sell lentils and chickpeas. It would be so, so easy. I mean, they do sell a little bit of these things somewhere, but it's just way off in the corner. 
Glorious vegan food. Plants have protein. There's no reason to hurt animals. Most people don't realize that cheese comes from a cycle of violence where the baby cows are taken away from their mothers and they are killed. If they're boys, they are turned into veal. And if they're girls, they're put back into the cycle of violence. You're not a baby, you're not a cow. You don't need cheese or cow's milk at all, ever. So here's the shirt that Tash is wearing today, and this says it all. This poor pig is actually being confined with her babies there, and sometimes they accidentally step on them and kill them. And this is something that you can prevent if you don't buy any more meat in the future. Right, Tash? Exactly. Go to watchdominion.com to see the truth. Say what's happening and be vegan from now on. Tash and Jack here are checking out the corpses here and filming for their videos. Tash has a microphone here that's wireless. It's attached to the camera over there. So people have been so brainwashed that they don't even see animals as having feelings at all anymore. They're treated like objects. All of these people are lining up to pay for murder. If these were cats and dogs, do you think they would be doing that? This animal screamed in pain before being chopped up into pieces. How would you feel if this was you or a family member or your dog or your cat? We need a vegan world. Innocent chickens. Innocent pigs. Innocent cows. Hey, buddy. Don't worry. You're protected. Hi, sweetie pie. Is another little cutie? Hi, precious. Good to see you. Don't worry. Nobody's going to eat you. You're very lucky. You weren't born in the body of a pig. We live in a speciesist world where every animal, though, should be protected, not just some. This is equivalent to racism when we choose to protect some and be cruel to others. If this isn't a holocaust, I don't know what is. Bodies and bodies lined up and being burned. Disgusting hell. Absolutely, completely unnecessary. We don't need to be cruel to animals. Google vegan athletes, they're surviving fine without eating any corpses. Stay vegan, eat tomatoes. Woo! Stay vegan, eat zucchini. Eat yeah? zucchini, zucchini, yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! Stay vegan and eat your peaches. Yeah, do it! Stay vegan, eat pineapple. Yes, why not? Stay vegan and eat what the hell the, uh, whatever the hell these are. <laughs> we, don't, we have no idea. We're what not the, we're not the best vegan. We, I don't know. I thought they were like soybeans, but they're, they're I don't know. Let us know. Google it. Let us know. We're sure they're vegan though. They don't look like an animal. No. Plants no, don't feel vegan. Open. Yeah, go vegan. Stay vegan and eat apples. Woohoo! Eat your apples. So that's it everyone, that's the video for today. If stay vegan, you can absolutely do it. Right Tash? Exactly. It's very easy to do and most importantly, it helps animals. Yeah. And it also saves the planet and it's also good for your health. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye. If you like this video, subscribe and follow for more. See you soon.